I'm Kelly and today we're going to talk about the journey of an acorn and how we might learn some lessons. Um, I find the acorn to be incredibly interesting because even an acorn this small has all the ingredients for an oak tree like one behind me that is tall and strong. It has bark inside here, stems, a trunk, roots, everything that you would need. And I think about how often we tell ourselves we're not quite enough. If an acorn has all the ingredients for a strong oak tree, you certainly have all the ingredients to be whatever it is that is on your journey. Something that you have a drive to accomplish. You have all the ingredients. But before this oak tree can become, before this acorn can become an oak tree behind me, <clears throat> it must be planted in the dark soil. Once this acorn is planted, it has to do some heavy lifting in the, in the scary time, the dark times. It has to reach roots out to get the water. The rain doesn't come right to it. It has to reach out and it shoots out several roots to absorb all the water it needs to grow into a fantastic tree. Once the foundation with all the roots is in the ground, it is then ready to reach up and absorb the sun to feel the sun, to absorb it, to absorb the kindness. And I think about that, who are the people in your world that offer sunshine to you when you most need it, when you're coming up out of that dark place that you've worked so hard and then there you are, they are there to support you and guide you. So then this acorn reaches up, absorbs the sun and creates the branches that will allow the birds to rest on it, the squirrels to play on it. And it does something else that is pretty marvelous. Once the leaves are out, there is a process, photosynthesis, and it absorbs the carbon dioxide and produces oxygen for all of us. Hmm. Marvelous. Out of a dark place, it comes out, absorbs the sun, and then produces branches for birds to rest, squirrels to play, and oxygen for us. I think I'm going to take my journal right now and write about my journey as in comparison to an acorn. Maybe I'm going to write about um, times that I felt afraid and in the dark. Maybe I feel that way now and I'm going to be kind to myself when I write about this. And I'm going to write about the people in my world that provide sun and kindness and what that does for me. And perhaps who do I provide sun to? So I'm going to journal here underneath this oak tree and say namaste to you.